Now let me get this straight. Here comes the lecture. You're going to marry Gino Salito based on something that Carla Salito said? No, not what she said, how she said it. Well, you know, I've known Carla just a little bit longer than you, and I can tell you that woman wouldn't know the truth if it came up and bit her on the butt. Now, if she told you that Gino was dying, she had an ulterior motive. Hey, would you let me get a word in edgewise? She didn't say it to me. Well, what did she do? Write it in a letter? I heard her say it on the phone to someone else. Well, she obviously did it for your benefit. She had no idea I was within a mile of her. Oh, she has eyes in the back of her head. That may be true, but she just confirmed something I heard Gino say himself. Oh, Gino said he was dying. Not in so many words. Well, what words did he use? He said that he had to enjoy the time he had left. Well, that's totally understandable. He's in the mob. What does that mean? Well, he's... Probably thinking about the possibility of being whacked by his own paisanos. <laughs> From your lips to God's ears. This isn't funny. This man is dangerous. I've heard that tune before. Then why don't you listen to it? Because the only music I can really hear is the wedding march. Yeah, well, I hear a funeral dirge. I hear that, too, after the wedding march. I, uh... Look, I have handled Gino up to now. I'm going to be okay. If Carla, if Carla says that Gino's going to die, she's not God. She doesn't know how much time he has in this life. What if it's more than just a few months? So it's more than just a few What if it's a lot more? All right, Alex, so I'll have to appease him. Do you know what they call women who go to bed with men for money? Yes, wealthy. This isn't funny. Actually, yes, it is funny. You going to bed with Gino Salido. <laughs> Does that turn you on? That's crude even for you. <laughs> Come on. You remember my body sound, don't you? No, I do not. Yeah, you do, you liar, no, liar, liar, Stop liar pants on fire. Stop it. Don't point you can me. just save these wiles for your husband to be. And believe me. You're gonna need him, pal. I, I don't know what to say. I know. It, it was a big shock to me, too. Yeah. I guess this is what you meant when you told me the other day that you and Tony had this bond. Yeah, I, I couldn't be more specific because I wasn't sure, but now I am sure. Then he knows about it? Yes. And? And what? How's he taking it? He's, he's been really wonderful. I mean, he, he came with me to the doctor, and he was there when I found out for sure that I was pregnant. Honey, being there is one thing, but being happy about it is another. Well, it was as big a shock to him as it was to me, but I, he's happy about it. I, I know he is. You know, he was serious about this annulment. He wanted to be with Allie. I know, but uh, things things change. So, they change for you, but do they change for Tony? I mean, does he want to have this child? Papa, he's going to be there in every sense. Oh, I, I love Tony. You know that. Both of us love and want this baby. You know, the more I think about it, the more I think that night we were together, it wasn't, a, it wasn't an accident. I think that Tony knew that we were meant, meant to be a family. Are you disappointed in me? No. No, honey. As a matter of fact, it's funny how things work out. You know, your mother and I for years were trying to have a child, and we couldn't, so we adopted you. And honey, you have been wonderful. But the one disappointment I always had, it's a macho thing, like with men, well, you know, the blood being passed from the father to the child to the grandchild, but now, when you and Eddie having a baby... It's like a miracle. Yes, it is. Oh, God, I wish your mother was here. <sighs> she was always so proud of you. And she would be now. Papa. And I know exactly what she would want. What I want. You and Tony, first of all, are going to get married. We are married. Honey, you call a few words you say in front of a judge. Married, that's not a marriage. You are carrying my grandchild. You're going to get married in church. I, you really don't have to do that. Don't have to, honey. You're going to have a beautiful white gown. You're going to have bridesmaids of the works. In fact, 
I'm going to try to get St. Patrick's Cathedral. I should really talk to Tony about it first. Dad. About what? Well, I just, I'm not sure that he's going to want that. Are you kidding from what you told me about how he loved the baby? He'd love a church wedding. You know he doesn't like formal things. Formal. He buys a tuxedo when he shows up. It's settled. Okay? Okay. <laughs> oh, honey. <laughs> I don't remember being this happy. And... <sighs> Wait. What's the matter? Nothing. I... Molly, what's wrong? Papa, I'm so sorry. I... I should not have done this to you. Oh, Alex. Come on, don't be angry at me. Oh, no, 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 no. You have to care to be angry. I like to tease you about our little thing. Oh, you got that right. The key word there is little. You know, if I had it all to do over again... You'd do it again. I would don't not. Don't be so judgmental. And you don't think I have cause to be? Do you realize that everything I do, I'm doing for Dylan? Oh, that's a bunch of bull. You have children. You should understand. Yes, I do. And I haven't been a very great father. But never once, Tracy Quartermain, have I ever used my kids to get every rotten little thing I wanted. I'm not doing that. You already have. You did it once to Ned, and now you're doing it to Dylan. Don't you say that to me. That's not true. I have been a wonderful mother to Dylan. Really? Explain this to me. Now, better yet, explain it to Dylan in there. How his mother could marry into the mob, forcing her beloved son to live with a gangster. It's not going to happen. Really? Going to have Dylan live in a hotel? No. I'll send him away, though. I'll, uh... I'll send him to boarding school before I'll let him live with Gina. You want Dylan to go to a boarding school? Are you crazy? Of course not. Well, you said that uh, you wanted to send him away because you couldn't take care of him. Alex, I didn't know what I was saying. I was in a state of panic. Now you're calm, cool, and collected. You're marrying a man so you can spend more time with Dylan. And he still winds up in a boarding school. Oh, don't get holier than thou. You sent your son to boarding school. That's hardly the same situation, I assure you. Oh, I forgot. I'm always wrong. You're always right. First off, my son is just a little older than Dylan. And secondly, he was getting in trouble at home. Whose fault was that? I'm not saying it wasn't mine. A lot of it was. Oh, Think of you to and admit one it. of the big things was that I didn't spend enough time with him. But you can spend all the time in the world with Dylan, and he's not in trouble yet. What does that mean? Marry Gino and find out. You know, you're playing with fire. I'll let myself out. Look, Alex, if and when I marry Gino, I'm going to keep Dylan away from him. And away from his mother. That's a hell of a thing for a six-year-old. I can't win for losing with you. Damned if I do, damned if I don't. It must be really nice up there on that lofty little perch I of yours. I don't think I'm superior to anyone. Except me? Well, at the moment, that's not all that difficult. That's an exit line if ever I heard one. And I'm exiting. Goodbye. <laughs> I'll buy you a wedding gift. Oh, don't bother. Stop by the funeral. I look really nice in black. Dylan? Yeah? Sweetheart, can I tear you away from your videos long enough to go get an ice cream sundae? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get my purse. What are you talking about? You've made me a very happy man. Is there something you're not telling me? Yes. N no, I just think that this pregnancy must have been such a shock for you. Well, sure it was, honey. It was a shock to you. It was a shock to Anthony, but it was a nice shock. I just put you through so much this last year, and now this? Oh, come on. It can't have been good for your blood pressure. Hey. I got pills to take care of my blood pressure, and the doctor says I'm going to live forever. The way I feel now, I believe. I hope you do. Just try not to look too healthy. 
What do you mean? Well, I, I talked to the federal prosecutor like I said I was going to. Yeah. And to get him off your case, I told him that you only have a few months to live. <laughs> You're kidding. No, I, I did. He was very convinced. He, I cried and I said I was going to lose my papa. And I really didn't have to act. I mean, the thought of losing you. I want you to stop worrying about me and start thinking of your own life. But you have been my life for so many years. I know, honey, and it shouldn't have been that way. And it won't be. You got a fantastic husband and a beautiful baby on the way. What do you want? Boy or a girl? Um, wow, I haven't even thought of that. Well, that's the kind of stuff I want you to be thinking about, not my blood pressure. Understand? Now, let me worry about you for a change, okay? I don't want you to worry about anything. This kind of worry I like. I just want you to be happy, Papa. Happy? Honey, if I were any happier, I'd be on the ceiling. <sighs> Okay, so, um, what did you come... Why did you come by? You wanted to say something? Uh... I can wait. Right now, I'm thinking of St. Patrick's Cathedral. I'm... Papa, I'm not really sure that we're going to want a big wedding. Hey, this time we're going to get my way, understand? Yes. All right. Give me a kiss. <laughs> oh, here comes the run. Yeah. Oh, incidentally, uh... This wedding might be even bigger than you think. Oh, God, Mama, I'm so sorry. I hate lying to him. But Tony's gonna love me. And we are gonna have that baby, I promise you.